What's up kids, it's your boy 90 Soul doing another sneaker review. I uh, just picked up some Adidas um, online, one off of the Bodega website and one off of uh, StockX. Um, actually got a pair, same pair in each box, but one's for my wife, one's for myself. I uh, just started buying Boost. I, I really only have one pair. I really only have one pair, which is the Yeezy uh, B2 Breads. Um, but I've been wanting to get a few more pair of Boost just to kind of get a good feel, see if it's something I want to continue to buy. Most of my sneak rotations are built around Jordans and 90, uh, 90s Nike shoes, retros and stuff and whatnot. But uh, I just thought I'd give this a chance, see if see if this is somewhere I want to go as far as with in my shoe rot rotation. So. Uh, let's get into it. Um, up first is my wife's pair, as you can see. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, if it's Iniki or Inike or I don't know. But uh, it's the the new runners from Adidas. Um, came out a while back. The men's came out a while back. The women's just came out, so the women's are still available online. The men's are not. Uh, that's one reason I had to go on StockX to get mine. Uh, as you can see again, those are going to be the blues. Hers are the purple. Uh, kind of a, the lighter purple pair. Um, you see 120 for hers. I think for mine, obviously the original I think was around 120. I ended up paying closer to 200 to get mine. I think it was about 180 and then with shipping and everything it came to about 200. Um, Excited to get them. Like I said, I'm going to be wearing them around, uh, just kind of everyday wear, daily rotation, just to kind of see how well it is as far as with walking in them, doing different activities in them. Um, so let's take a peek. Okay, so let's get into it. So first up is going to be the purple pair, my wife's pair. As you can see, full length boost. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of throwing some shade on it. Um, gum bottoms. The fabric on top, I mean, it's not, it's obviously not prime knit, but I mean, it's a soft material. It's obviously got the suede, it's a nice suede, soft suede around the toe box on the back heel. I don't know if this is leather or plastic, it feels like a soft leather on the back. It's got the tag there, as you can see. You can't see it because of the light. Obviously, the mantra of Adidas on the tongue. Um, overall, nice. I mean, it's, again, soft on the outside. Now, the inside, uh, there's the sticker. The inside, the insole is, is definitely hard. It's not like a removable insole. It, it's, it's built in. You can definitely feel the stiffness on top. I'm assuming that's going to kind of take some breaking in to really become soft. But again overall uh looking good nice quality um i mean for the price to get full length boost more casual shoe it's not the runner you know it's not the pure boost uh it's not the pure boost style it's kind of more of a laid back casual style which is kind of what i was going for you know the, the sunday out for a walk farmer's market whatever running errands kind of kind of vibe and look so but still nice I, I definitely like the gum bottoms I like the fact that that might actually hold up as far as look wise a little bit better than a, a white bottom uh, that I've seen on a couple other ones um, but still overall nice um, she likes them and then mine so same as before gum bottom um, you know, soft fabric. This suede definitely feels a whole lot nicer than this one. I don't know if it's because of the size or if it's because it's men and women's. I'm not sure, but this definitely doesn't feel as soft as this. This definitely feels really nice. I'm definitely going to have to make sure to treat that with some crep protect or something to make sure that that doesn't get ruined. Um, you know, elastic material here, suede again around the eyelets. Um, I like the copper accents. I mean, it's got um, the copper accents on the tongue, on the side here, and then obviously the anglets or whatever you want to call on the end of the strings. Also copper. I definitely like that look. I wish this kind of shared that same look. I mean, again, I don't know if it's because it's the if for women's or what, but it just has the standard ends on it. Um, it does have 
this in kind of an orange, but this copper color really sets off this shoe. Like, it just makes it, it, it's, it seems more adult. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but definitely softer, a little bit more pliable. Boost is nice and soft, still stiff on the inside. Uh, it's got all the tags and everything here. Um, as you can see on my other pair here, again, picked it up off of StockX. They authenticate everything. Great app to have. Probably going to be grabbing something else off of there uh, this week. Um, I don't know, I just can't get enough. It's like anything that I ever you know, come across online that I go, hey, you know, I think I want that. I hop on there. Prices are generally pretty good. So I generally been picking things up. This is a, now my fifth purchase, I think, off of Stop, StockX. So definitely happy with their service. Happy with the prices. Sorry again about the lighting. The lighting's kind of off. I need to get some better lighting for in here. But let me know what you guys think. Um, these kind of sold out quick. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, again, I thought this was something that was going to sit, but maybe because of the same reasons I bought it is why everyone else is buying them. Uh, the women's, again, are still still available online. I got mine from Bodega. Um, but all the men's sizes, all the men colors, colorways and sizes are all gone, sold sold out everywhere. So, you know, Boost is definitely what's in. That's that's definitely what's selling. It's, it's hard to find all my local spots don't have a whole lot you know i went through a couple malls this last week and uh nothing i was looking for was available there nothing that they even carried so um it's definitely becoming hard to get some stuff i don't know if adidas is, is doing it that way they're making things a little more limited as far as the release or whatnot but um <clears throat> i guess time will tell again let me know what you guys think this was a shoe that you were feeling or if it was something that you know you thought was not was not the best silhouette to grab, but again, I'm I'm liking them. I'll probably pick up some other colorways. I've heard that they uh, they might go with a prime knit upper on some future models, so I'm looking forward to that. Definitely interested in some special colors. Um, I would like a light blue version for the men's. I, I I'd be digging that. Um, Definitely digging the parlays uh, on the Ultra Boost. So, if Parlay did something with these, that would be cool too. But there really isn't any plastic on this. I don't know how they would incorporate that. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please give me the thumbs up if you like, thumb downs if you don't. Peace.